I think one of the biggest mysteries in the entire hobby of graded magazines revolves around cleaning and pressing. And man, is there a big controversy going on right now in the sports card world as it relates to some of those techniques being used on sports cards. My name's Jim, I'm with CGC Sports Illustrated. Uh, so I wanted to do this video because the sports card controversy got me thinking. And if you haven't been following it in the last couple of weeks, there's been a Victor Webinyama one of one card that was pulled. Um, there was a service that, um, I don't know the right way to say it, um, prepared or prepped that card for grading. It graded a 10 by PSA and it's probably a million dollar plus card, but there's been this massive controversy that has erupted around this. And uh, let's take a few minutes to dive into it, and then we're going to talk about magazine pressing. Um, so, so basically, this company prepped this Victor Webinyama one-of-one one card that's going to sell for a million dollars, and I think it's up for auction either right now or it will be soon. Um, and the guy that owned the card was at the PSA offices. They were creating some social media content. They were talking about it. Everybody's excited. And he gave a shout-out to this company for prepping the card for him right there in front of everybody at PSA and everybody's like, yeah, this is awesome. And social media blew up. Um, and I'm like, this is cheating. Uh, you know what you're doing. This is cheating. And other people are like, well, you, you'd certainly wash your car before you sell it. Wouldn't you? Um, so, so let's talk about this a little bit and from an intellectual standpoint and not a flaming Twitter comment standpoint. The grading companies make the rules. So if you want to talk about, and we'll get into this, the grading companies make the rules. And PSA has said, and this is a massive paraphrase, but essentially gets the point across, PSA has said, if you do anything other than wipe your card down with a microfiber cloth, that is alteration. And if we detect it, we will label it as altered. That's PSA's rules. It's essentially BGS and SGC's rules as well. Those have been the rules in sports card grading for a long, 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 long time. Comics and magazines have different rules. Um, so what CGC has said is pressing is perfectly acceptable. Uh, let's, so let's paraphrase the way CGC views pressing. CGC has basically said, as long as you're not adding anything or taking anything away from the way that this item was produced originally, then that is acceptable. And pressing and cleaning doesn't do that. If I'm cleaning dirt off of a magazine, um, that was not there when it was produced originally, uh, so that's acceptable. If I am pressing out finger bends or dents or creases or anything else like that, those weren't there when the item came off of the printing press, and so that is acceptable. So uh, the, the controversy in the sports car world is kind of confusing to me because, you know, the grading companies make the rules. It's for us to work within those rules. Now, if you want to talk about, you know, the the you know the fact that the the owner of that Wemby card shouted out this company in front of the PSA employees and PSA, you know, didn't do anything. Well, that's a whole other subject. But the idea is, you are not allowed to do alterations like we do for magazines to sports cards. That's why I don't work on sports cards. I've had people message me and say, hey, can you do this for sports cards, Jim? Um, no, I'm not. I don't do that for sports cards because it's against the rules. And I just feel that that would be disingenuous to do that. That's the, the hobby hasn't endorsed it. Pressing is fully sanctioned and endorsed by the grading companies that grade comics and magazines. So that's what it all comes down to, the rules. I get more questions about pressing than anything else. And it makes sense. So many people are coming into this hobby from sports cards. Pressing doesn't work in sports cards. It does work in, in, in uh, comics and magazines. So what I'm going to do is start doing some videos. This is the first one where I'm going to take a look at an issue and we're going to examine it. I'll um, point out some flaws that can be fixed by pressing, some that can't. And then I'll press the magazine and we'll do a little bit of a before and after and also give you a pre-grade estimate on that magazine. So let's go to our first magazine that I'm going to press in this series. So first thing I always do, wash my hands. You'll see some guys out there that use gloves. A lot of sports card breakers will use gloves. It's kind of personal preference. There's a lot of arguments out there uh, as to why you shouldn't use gloves. But just what I do, wash my hands whenever I'm going to start touching a raw issue. So I've done that today. Um, love this issue that I'm working on here. So this is Ken Griffey Jr.'s first Sports Illustrated issue. You can see it's from May 7th, 1990. I, I always get excited when one of my customers send, sends me this issue because there's no 
all of us in the hobby have been looking to get the first 9.8 on this issue. And so I'm always excited that I might be able to be the guy uh, that can do that. But unfortunately, on this issue, that's not going to be the case. And that's the main reason right there. We've got about a half-inch spine tick that breaks color. we got some more spine ticks that break color right there, there, and there. So not going to be a 9.8. But it is going to be a really nice issue. So I like to uh, always, before I press an issue, I like to review it to see what kind of flaws we've got. So let's take a look at it here under some glare. And there's flaw number one. You can see it right there. We've got a bend at the top. Got a little bit of a finger bend right there. This is how you evaluate your issues. You've got to throw glare from a light on it to be able to see a lot of these bends. This one comes through lightly, but you can see that there's a, there's a crease right along there where my thumb is. All of these are easily fli fixable and pressing. Got a little bit of a, you can see a little bit of a, of kind of a spine crease that runs the entire length of the spine there. We'll get that cleaned up as well. The rest of it's looking pretty good. Little bit of a, little bit of a finger bend there. Now let's take a look at the back. Now. This issue and this color ink, very susceptible to the ink coming off. Purple ink, uh, pink ink, two of the colors that for whatever reason seem to have the most problems. This issue is an issue, uh, there's a, you know, it's a problem because it's a very dark back and it's got that purple ink that comes off easily. Uh, Tiger Woods' first cover from 1996 is another one. Michael Jordan's first cover from 1983. All really susceptible to having that ink come off the back and you can see right there. So we've got some of that right there where that ink has come off and that will not be fixed in pressing. Other than that, again, some small finger bends. You can see one there. You can see one there. If we look up to the top. We've got some finger bends over there. I think we saw some more issues at the top. All of those should be easily fixable once this one is pressed. So I'm going to throw this in the press, and then we'll take a look at the after shot, and I'll give you my grade projection on this Ken Griffey Jr. first cover from 1990. Okay, this issue literally just came out of the press. I pressed it at 155 degrees for seven minutes, let it sit in the press for 24 hours. Now let's look at the results. Remember that right there? That was the nasty little problem that we had at the top. Almost came out 100%. So there's a little bit of permanent damage there, but we got the vast majority out. We had some finger bends, if you remember, kind of all throughout the magazine. That that you see right here, that's a little scuffing. So pressing isn't going to fix that. We had some finger bends there that all came out. You can see a little bit more scuffing right there. And now let's take a look at the back. Woo, look at that. Clean, clean, clean. So really nice job on this one. It came out really, really nice. I think that before pressing, let's take a look at the spine ticks that break color that we had here. Those obviously didn't go away and we've still got them all along the spine. I think before pressing, this was probably an 8.0. Now that it's been pressed, my grade projection on this is 9.0. I think there's an outside tiny little chance that this one could get a 9.2. So I'll do these um, before and after pressing and grade projection videos on a more regular basis. Hope you like this one. As always, appreciate you watching. If you're interested in my comic and magazine cleaning and pressing service, you drop a comment here on YouTube or find me on social media and shoot me a DM. I got the same username on every platform. It's CGC Sports Illustrated, and I'll get with you and we'll talk about magazine and comic pressing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.